Well, an Arizona restaurant is just one of 25 businesses across the country being recognized for its history. It's all about preserving the past, and few do it better than the Delgadillo family in the small town of Seligman, Arizona, situated right along Route 66. The story you are about to hear could sound familiar, especially if you have seen the movie, the Disney movie Cars. In fact, the movie's fictional town, Radiator Springs, was actually based on Seligman. 12 News journalist Bianca Bono took a trip to the historic town to learn more about the family's history and how they helped save the famous American road. Driving down I-40 between Flagstaff and the California state line, all it takes is one exit to transport you back in time. Welcome to Seligman, Arizona, the birthplace of historic Route 66 and home of the longest surviving section of America's iconic road. And synonymous with Seligman is the snow cap. Hey, you should work for 12 News. <laughs> Meet the Delgadillo family, the owners of the kitschy restaurant, where they're serving up burgers, shakes, and most importantly, smiles. Would you like straw? <laughs> My dad always told us, put a smile on somebody's face. $75, Robert. Did you read that? Okay, I'll give you a local discount. Much like the snow cap, these jokes are 70 years old, all thanks to Juan Delgadillo. We're trying to keep up his legacy. After getting out of the Army, Juan worked for the railroad, ultimately opening the snow cap in 1953. At the time, Route 66 and Seligman were booming. There were 12 gas stations just in Seligman. That changed in 1978. Interstate 40 opened just two miles from town, which effectively meant Route 66 was closed. A lot of the businesses around town could not stay alive. But for Juan and his brother, Angel Delgadillo, giving up wasn't in their DNA. This was Juan Delgadillo's 1936 Chevrolet. His family tells us when the interstate opened, he would drive along the interstate and have people follow him off back onto Route 66, just one of many ways he thought outside the box to keep this town in business. This is a beautiful town of Seligman. With Route 66 barely kicking, Angel and Juan also created the historic Route 66 Association of Arizona, an effort to preserve it. I remember Dad saying, we're not going anywhere. We're going to keep going. This is not going to stop us. By 1987, the state of Arizona designated the road as historic, securing Seligman's future. If it weren't for him. No, we wouldn't be here. So the snow cap lived on and Juan and his wife Mary lived right next door. My dad would ring the house phone twice and that was <laughs> her sign that there was a hamburger to be made. Juan and Mary have since passed away, but the next generations have taken over. Nothing changes. The girl's the same. That girl's 70 years old. We don't like change. Here you go, my friend. The family's hard work goes beyond this kitchen and this year it was rewarded, becoming one of just 25 restaurants across the country carefully chosen by the National Trust for Historic Preservation, earning a $40,000 grant. We are the only one in Arizona. We're just so grateful for that. Their first order of business, creating a permanent place for Juan and Mary. They're the backbone of this place. More updates are in the works. It's going to look pretty. Our dad would be proud of it. But the foundation of this Seligman staple will stay the same. There aren't enough mom and pop shops left in the United States. So the next time you're driving down the highway, Way, try taking the long way. They treat you like family. You might like what you find. We got to keep it going. We are keeping it going. In Seligman, Bianca Bono, 12 News. Oh, what a great story and mm -hmm. great piece of Arizona history.